Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Hiba and here on my channel I cover recent missing person cases. If you're into that type of content, please consider subscribing. Today I want to talk about a case that I've discussed numerous times on my channel and that is the disappearance of Cassie Sheets. A lot of you have found my channel through my Cassie videos so I know that there's a lot of people out there who care and who want answers for her. Unfortunately though, there hasn't been much media attention about Cassie and her birthday is coming up on July 25th. I want to put this video out there to hopefully generate some discussion about what happened to her on the day that she disappeared. I'm also hoping that we can get a billboard up for Cassie and I will talk about that later on in this video. I have four other videos about Cassie and the developments in her case so if you aren't caught up I recommend you go ahead and watch those before you watch this. But to give you an overview of her case, Cassie Sheets went missing near Spruce Snob in Pendleton County, West Virginia on March 11th, 2021. On the day of her disappearance, Cassie was allegedly hiking with Grant Sager and James Brill II. The trio supposedly hiked into the night and then became separated. According to the two men's story, Grant heard a noise and he went off to check out what it was, leaving James and Cassie alone on the trail. After that, the story is that James tripped and that when he got up, Cassie was nowhere to be seen. Ultimately, the two boys made it out of the trail, but as we know, Cassie did not. So at this time, Grant isn't really talking much about this case. He has lawyered up and has refused to take a polygraph. We know that he was arrested on March 20th for drug possession and he is currently being housed in the West Virginia Division of Crime. Directions. From what I could find, he is set to be released on June 10th, 2031. I will include a screenshot of where I found that. We know that James, on the other hand, did take the polygraph and pass. Regardless, polygraphs or lie detector tests are not really reliable and they are rarely admissible in court. In regards to James' whereabouts, I've heard that he is currently in a rehabilitation center. Since the beginning, Grant and James's behavior has been very suspicious to me. There are plenty of other details and theories that you can find in my other videos, so check those out if you're interested in that. The purpose of this video, though, is to highlight that it's been nearly four months and still we have no answers about where Cassie is. Like like I previously mentioned, Cassie's birthday is on July 25th and her family wants nothing more than for her to come home. Her mom, Arlene's birthday, is actually the following day on the 26th and Cassie would always joke that she was her mom's birthday present and I'm sure she wants nothing more this year than for her daughter to come home. So like I mentioned in this video and I've also said in other videos, the media has basically dropped Cassie's story. I think it would be amazing if we could get a billboard up near Spruce Knob to keep Cassie's face out there and her story in people's minds. Maybe seeing her face will trigger someone's memory or bring someone with information forward. After talking with Cassie's family, I've started a GoFundMe with the purpose of trying to get this billboard up. It would mean so much to me and to her family if you would consider donating if you're able to and if you would share it on social media or with others. Again, I'm hoping that we can put this billboard up near Spruce Knob where she disappeared and where the trio were allegedly hiking. Hopefully we can get some answers this way. If you have any information yourself that you're not comfortable sharing with the family or publicly sharing, you're always welcome to email me. My email is always in the description and I have had people email me anonymously, so feel free to do so. I also wanted to let you all know that there has been a Facebook group created to discuss Cassie's case and to give updates. That group is called Cassie Renee Sheets Missing Discussion, so feel free to join that group if you want to. I will link it below and I am a part of that group, so feel free to join like I said. I've said this before, but Cassie's case is especially close to me and I don't want people to stop speaking about her case, which is why I keep creating these videos and which is why I wanted to get that group started. Despite the lack of media attention though, I know that Cassie Cassie has a strong army of people who love her and care for her and they won't stop searching until they find answers and I am one of those people. So like I said, please consider donating to the GoFundMe and share it if you can. And that's all I really have for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and for continuing to keep up with Cassie's story. She has children and parents and siblings that are just waiting for her to come home. I'll see you in my next one.